The Malawi Electoral Commission has declared the opposition leader Lazarus Chakwera winner of Tuesday's presidential rerun election with about 59% of the votes cast. Great jubilation by supporters of his nine party Tons coalition around town, but defeated President Peter Mutarika has yet to concede defeat. He alleges irregularities in the election and appealed for calm. It will be recalled that incumbent President Motarika was declared a winner in the first ballot, but the election was cancelled by the Supreme Court and a rerun ordered. The Commission declares that Lazarus Chakwera, the candidate who has attained 58.57% of the vote, has attained the requisite majority of electorates as appearing in the second schedule and is duly elected as president of the Republic of Malawi. Malawi has stagnated in terms of development uh, because uh, the systems did not work. Deliberately, the systems were rendered dysfunctional uh, by those that were in leadership. Now, uh, Dr. Lazarus Chapera's main agenda is to make sure that there are systems that do work. Joining us to give some insight on the historic fit in Malawi's, Malawi is a Paul Ejime, an international affairs expert. Thank you for joining us. How would you assess the poll about the first and the first ballot and now the rerun? Uh, like I was saying, there are no perfect elections, but the first one was, um, it was clear and obvious that that first one was marred by irregularities, which were, um, um, necessitated their, uh, um, you know, taking the issue to court. There were, um, you know, it was the issue of um, using the TPEX and, um, you know, have corrections. And so there were also violence uh, that was marked. But um, in this one, um, electoral observers generally think that this one was generally peaceful and transparent. But, you know, politicians never agree that elections are successful unless they win. But, um, and so yeah, it's not surprising that um, the defeated candidate, the president, sitting president, Butarika, is claiming that uh, there were irregularities of uh, violence. But um, um, comparatively, I think this one um, can pass for uh, a credible election. All right, with uh, Mutharika alleging irregularities, are you expecting some kind of unrest or do you foresee him relinquishing power? Well, I think that is the, the decision for him to make. He has to save face. Uh, he has um, described the election as uh, the worst in uh, Malawi's um, uh, history. But um, well, it, will, it remains to be seen whether he can approach the court. Um, he, it has his right if he chooses to. But um, I think the Malawi um, uh, judiciary has, uh, in a way, demonstrated their independence because... Uh, there, there was uh, obvious um, uh, pressure, political pressure, but um, um, uh, even before uh, it was uh, the, the order, the, the cancellation and the rerun. I hope that if they are able to um, stand up to that uh, credibility and then independence, even if he goes to the court, that is his right to do. Uh, one is hoping that um, justice will be served. Justice in the case that... Um, I mean, almost 59% of um, those who cast their vote of Malawians, I don't think they, 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 uh, they are all fools or that um, they voted for the wrong candidate. I think in the, in the final analysis, let's hope that um, the people's will will, um, will prevail. But it is within his right to um, uh, approach the court, even to the Supreme Court. All right, uh, quickly before we let you go, what's the significance of this victory to African democracy or electoral system that is usually uh, resolved in court? Well, it, it adds to the, it can only um, uh, add to the incremental um, improvement and um, of uh, consolidation of democracy, uh, where opposition parties are able to supplant uh, 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 ruling parties or uh, uh, governments in power. It's not only there, it's happened in so many places in Nigeria, in um, uh, uh, Senegal, 
and uh, uh, so many other places. The significance here is that these are the uh, Malawi and Kenya, Kenya in 2017. Uh, these were the two places where presidential elections were really canceled and then a rerun ordered. But in the case of Kenya, uh, the, the ruling party still won. Uh, but here, it is the opposition party. It's difficult in Africa. But I think that the trend is um, emerging where, you know, people, the, uh, the people's votes, um, uh, 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 you know, they are counted and then uh, it's being counted and then they count. In other words, the electorate are speaking and then join with the other uh, stakeholders like the judiciary. If um, there are issues, they can now approach the judiciary and then uh, justice will be served. Mr. Transparency, Paul, credibility, and then confidence. I think that is what is required to um, consolidate democracy in Africa. Mr. Paul Ejimed, thank you very much for your thoughts on the news. You're welcome. Thank you.